you're familiar with standard form AX plus BY equals C. Now we're going to see how this can work in the world of word problems. And here's the good news. Very frequently, earlier in word problems, you would have the temptation to have two different variables in your word problem, and usually we were told, nope, can't do that. Well, now you will be able to have two variables. You'll be able to have a variable X and Y. So for our delicious example, you're going to walk into a bakery and find out that donuts cost $2, muffins cost $3, you have $24 in your pocket, and you're going to spend it all. Before we get into the equations, let's just do a little bit of mental math. Pause the video and answer both of these questions. Okay, if you were going to buy only donuts or only muffins, that's the amount of each of those that you could buy. That's just simple arithmetic, 24 divided by $2 each or 24 divided by $3 each. It's now worth your while to pause the video and read questions three and four, which are slightly different. In this one, you're going to buy two muffins and you want to know how many donuts. And in the next one, you're going to come up with your own order that will use exactly $24. Go ahead and pause the video and try those out. Okay, if you were going to buy two muffins, that's going to cost you $6, which means you have $18 left over, enough for de nine donuts. And for your question number four, you might have come up with a different combination than me, but I know three donuts and six muffins will use up exactly $24. I know six donuts and four muffins will also use up exactly $24. Okay, we're going to move away from the arithmetic, mental math stuff and start doing a real equation to represent this scenario. Like I said, we can use two different variables, so I'm going to use D and M. D is going to represent the number of donuts we get, because we already know the cost of the donuts, and M is going to represent the number of muffins. It would be worth your while to pause the video and see if you could come up with an equation using D and M to represent this situation. Here's the equation. And remember, any time that you are writing something down in math, it should make sense in English. So here's what I would read it as. $2 per donut plus $3 per muffin is equal to the $24 in total. D is the number of donuts, M is the number of muffins. And by the way, if you like x's and y's, your equation would be 2x plus 3y equals 24. Once you have your equation, whether you're using x's, y's, or d's and m's, now the procedure is the same as before. I uh, would go ahead and make a t-chart to find the intercepts. Plug in a 0 for x or d. And I can do the math and say 3m equals 24, m equals 8. In other words, if I bought zero donuts, I would get eight muffins, or that's my y-intercept, zero comma eight. Same thing over here, plug in a zero for the number of muffins, which means you cover up that part. That means you would have room for 12 donuts, or this is my x-intercept, or it's the point 12 comma zero, and it goes right here. So I take these two points and I plot them on my graph, and I connect the two points and I have now graphed the equation. It's important to know this concept. Any point on this line is a valid combination of donuts and muffins that you can go ahead and purchase. For example, this point right here is an x equals 3, y equals 6. 3 comma 6 means in this case 3 donuts and six muffins are eligible to be purchased. And if you go back up to the top of the paper, my combination of donuts and muffins that were eligible to be purchased are three and six. In other words, the ordered pair, three comma six. I also said you could have purchased six donuts and four muffins, which would be the ordered pair six comma four. That should show up on our graph. And if I go down here to my graph, 
the ordered pair six comma four is right on that graph. Any ordered pair on that line gives me a solution to the equation 2d plus 3m equals 24. Or, in reality, it gives me a combination of donuts and muffins that I could purchase to get exactly $24.